Hello, my name is Ina Braverman and I'm the founder and CEO of EcoWave Power here in Tel Aviv, Israel. Well, when the Berlin Wall fell down, uh, I was three years old. You can see a picture of me right here. And I was living in a small city in Ukraine called Cherkasy. Uh, my family was just getting ready to immigrate from Ukraine to Israel. Well, as a child, I wanted to become a politician because I believed that politics is the best way to change the world. I even went to study political science in the university. However, life has showed me a different direction, the direction of impacting the world through the production of clean electricity. And this is what I'm doing with EcoWave Power. I feel like my research with EcoWave Power is breaking two main walls. The first wall is how we're currently producing our electricity. Unfortunately, 80% of the world's energy is produced by fossil fuels, which are damaging to our planet because they're very polluting. Uh, with the work that EcoWave Power is doing, we're adding a new way of harnessing electricity from the ocean and sea waves, which is safe and it is clean. The second wall that we're breaking is female inclusion in the energy sector. Unfortunately, women represent a very small uh, percentage in the STEM sector in general and in the energy sector in particular. And I feel like being a female CEO that is fighting against climate change with a unique, innovative technology for generation of clean electricity from ocean and sea waves is definitely breaking this wall. The challenge that our project addresses is the challenge of climate change. Nowadays, 60% of the world's greenhouse gases are derived from the way that we harness our electricity. EcoWave Power came out with a clean, innovative technology for generation of electricity from ocean and sea waves that is not polluting for the environment. According to the World Energy Council, wave energy can produce twice the amount of electricity that the world produces now. Imagine the impact that it can have on the world. What makes the EcoWave Power research innovative is the fact that we were able to prove that wave energy is a viable source of clean electricity. Uh, previous companies have tried to implement wave energy in the offshore, which made it very expensive. They needed ships and divers and underwater moorings and cables. And also uh, these technologies did not survive the harsh weather. EcoWave Power came up with a new approach uh, in which we install our technology on existent man-made structures, such as piers, breakwaters, jetties, and other types of structures. By doing that, we were able to significantly decrease the cost and have a reliable technology that does not have problems of breakability. I believe that society will benefit from the EcoWave Power research because it brings to life a new form of energy generation technology. It is a clean form of energy generation, which does not harm the environment. Wave energy can produce twice the amount of electricity that the world produces now, and this can change all our lives. Uh, I think that uh, EcoWave Power has went through a very long journey. We have built the first off-grid wave energy power station here in Jaffa Port in Israel. Uh, we have built the first grid-connected power station in Gibraltar. And uh, the next steps that we are expecting from ourselves and everybody are expecting from us is to prove that wave energy can be harnessed in significant amounts and can also become profitable. So this is the next step of our research. Uh, we're planning right now and licensing for the construction of the first in the world commercial scale wave farm.
I think that my mother is very excited about the work that I'm doing with Eco Wave Power, uh, especially because of my personal story. I live in Israel, but I was born in Ukraine on the 11th of April, 1986. And two weeks after I was born, the Chernobyl nuclear reactor exploded, which was the worst in history nuclear disaster. I was one of the babies that got hurt from the negative effects of the explosion. I had a respiratory arrest and a clinical death. Luckily, my mother, that was a nurse, approached my crib on time, gave me a mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation and saved my life. Uh, given a second chance in life, my mother, my family and I, we always felt that I should be doing something special with my life. I didn't just get a second chance. It's something that is very unique. And I believe that my work with Echo Wave Power is kind of fulfilling my purpose in life. I got a second chance in life and I'm doing something good with it.